I guess one of the things Ani Jeno and I talked about was even going to um, on the tour to Outreach was a bit of a, a dilemma. It was like, you know, should we go, shouldn't we? And we sort of really had to talk about whether it was good to go or not to Auschwitz. But we decided that because we were here in Poland and, you know, may never get to this opportunity again, that we would go along because I think it's such a huge, um, a huge event and a huge history in, in all the world history. And, our, you know, we've heard about it for all of our lives, I think. And we read things, we see things on television, we learn about Auschwitz, but to actually go there and see it for ourselves, um, it was so huge. It was such an emotional impact. I think for me, it was um, walking into the big, rooms and seeing the piles of hair, human hair, um, has really had a huge impact on my heart. I didn't, I mean, I knew, I knew that it was going to be hard, but I didn't know how hard it would be. Um, uh, I think knowing, you know, that there were over a million people um, killed in that and murdered and I, and I love the fact that when you're there they talk about it and in re real truth-telling ways you know they talk about people were murdered people were exterminated um, there's no holding back it talks about you know the devastation that people went through it talks about you know really hard things in, in our history and in and I think our history is very short, really. Um, and I think as an Aboriginal person coming from Australia, I think similar things happened in our communities. You know, people were divided. Men and women were divided. Families were divided. People were killed because of who they were, you know, whether it's being a Jewish person or a, a gypsy or an Aboriginal person in Australia. So. Some of the similarities, I think, really spoke to me deeply um, and really personally. I think it sort of shows the worst of humanity when you see that people can treat other human beings like, I don't know, less than rubbish almost, like just, yeah. you know, the fact that mm. they could just put them on a train, take them off and walk them into to be exterminated just I just don't understand how anybody could do that to another human being and I think that's for me um, you know that really rang so true with you know what is the worst of humanity well, we see that all over the world but coming to Poland it's almost like that's all we knew um, you know about the war and about Outswitch and, you know, um, so it, it would be like going somewhere, coming to Australia and just, you know, seeing the good parts of, you know, our journey and our travel without really knowing and, and, and really wanting to understand that, um, you know, the worst of humanity. Um, and it really was here. This is the, the experience of the people in, uh, Poland um, and and just to walk through you know some of those barracks um, as an Aboriginal woman because for me women and children were the most vulnerable mm. and I'm not saying that men didn't you know have that same horrific experience but it just seemed you know that separation of women and children straight away um, you know and 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 again, you know, not trying to compare with what's happened in the world, but, you know, you know, Aboriginal women and children um, were very much, you know, targeted as well. And, and that for me, you know, our, seeing the elderly women 
um, they held a lot of wisdom. You know, they had a lot of um, stories that, that, you know, were lost with them. Mm. I, I think that's, for me, was, you know, like our elders almost being round up and exterminated would be, you know, which, which you know, did, mm. did happen across the globe. Yeah. But just to see that in Alps, which was um, very dehumanising and um, wanting to scream out, why did this happen? You know, even at my age, understanding, yes, it was, you know, to do with ignorance and racism and, and you know, um, power and privilege, um, but wanting to just scream and say, this has to stop. But I think coming here and going, um, to there, I felt if I seen the worst of humanity, and I did that day, mm. then um, I could really myself look at how I can be the best myself as an Aboriginal woman, you know, being the best that I can be and not, um, you know, making sure that, you know, I'm, I'm not a reflection of the worst of humanity, if I, if I can say it that way. But, you know, we, um, like Charlene said, we, we did kind of weigh that up. We had a little bit of a meditation. Um, you know, this is, this is their story, it's not our story. But just to listen and acknowledge um, and learn from that story, um, you know, was, was really powerful, very powerful. Mm. Um, and and in, in some ways, I think if I didn't go, I would have regretted that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, like going to Australia and, and not really knowing, you know, about and wanting to know about the history, you know, being ignorant to that mm. past history would have been worse. Yeah. yeah. And I think a really good thing was, I think it also gives, gives hope as well. It, you know, it's about the fact that, you know, people have survived, yes. people adapt, people have got strength, even in, you know, like in the darkest of days, I think, you know, the people who have survived and live that story mm. and share that story and just, uh, yeah, I, and I think the one thing is, I guess, seeing the evidence, I guess, of the mm. amount of people and, and, you know, that's only, a, I guess, a portion of the people but I think just having that there is such a strength, I think, as well. It's amazing um, because no one can deny that that happened. No one can, you know, and I think anyone who says, you know, that, you know, genocide didn't happen, this didn't happen, um, needs to be walked through, you know, some of those rooms and, and see the baby shoes and, you know, the hair, you know, Flats of beautiful girls' hair, um, mm. things like that. But I think there is hope, and I think there is strength, and I think the the truth telling to me was the mm. the biggest thing that you know, people the the people that guided mm. us around and and spoke. It was just mm. straight to the point. You know, people were murdered, and that's what we're going to call it because that's what it was. Like um, what was really good to see was the children there, mm. all the schools yeah. going because for us, um, you know, that Aboriginal history wasn't really taught, you know, in the schools. So true. having the children go through there with their teachers and their mentors mm. and talking about that, you know, as children, they that's will it. grow up really knowing the truth about yeah. what happened in their country. Um, whereas ours is, you know, We're only our, just starting, only I think. Only just that, starting yeah. to, to tell that truth mm. about what is happening or yeah, what has happened. What happened to our Aboriginal mm. children and families and, yeah, and people. So, yeah, it was really amazing in all sorts of ways. <laughs> mm. But really glad that we did it.